In this Tuesday Two Minutes tutorial, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create this glitch text effect in your photos using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open Photoshop. Now, once you've got it open, I recommend creating a solid color fill layer and then creating a text layer. Now, once you've done that, make sure not to flatten that layer at any point, make sure it is text. We want to copy this layer twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command J on my keyboard once and then I'm gonna press Command J twice. So that means we have got three layers in our layers panel. Now. Go to the second layer in our layers panel and double click. This will bring up our layer stylizing box. In our layer stylizing box, we want to go to channels where you can see there are three ticks, one for red, one for green, one for blue. We're gonna go ahead and turn off red in that layer. Then we're gonna go to the layer, the very top layer, double click again to bring up our layer stylizing box. And if you turned off red in that particular case, go ahead and now turn off green. Lovely, so now we've got three layers and we've turned off two channels. So what we're gonna do is go to that second layer again. I'm gonna go ahead and press Command T. That'll bring up our free transform tool. While holding Shift, go ahead and press the right arrow twice. That will offset it ever so slightly. And once you're happy, go ahead and click enter. And we want to do the exact same thing for the top layer. So we're gonna go ahead, press Command T, bring up our free transform tool, go ahead and press shift, but this time go ahead and press left arrow twice. And as you can see, we have now offset it to the left. And because we've turned off two channels, those channels are now creating these really cool glitch colors. Now what you want to do is to merge these layers together. So what I recommend doing is going to that top layer, going to the very bottom layer without choosing the background and go ahead and press Command E. That will merge all of those three layers into one layer. Then what I recommend doing is going to the marquee tool found in the top left hand side, zooming into an area that you want to slightly offset like so. Go to your arrow tool and just simply use the arrow tools on your keyboard and just offset it slightly. And then to deselect it, just press Command D. And what we need to do is do that a couple of times throughout the entire layer. And what you can do is do this until you are happy with the results. And here is one I made earlier. Here is the before and here is the after. And if this particular tutorial kind of tickled your fancy, make sure to give it a like. And if you're interested in more tutorials like this, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel.